This episode is brought to you by Audible. Get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals when you start your free trial by following the link below. After decades of scientists warning the public that greenhouse gas emissions are contributing greatly to climate change, the idea seems to have finally stuck. Despite obnoxious and outspoken pushback from climate deniers and those in the pocket of the fossil fuel industry, public opinion has shifted to demand a swift transition to renewable green energy. By reducing and eventually eliminating the use of fossil fuels, we can mitigate the impact human activity has on the climate, which will hopefully stave off some of the disastrous effects of the coming crisis. That being said, green energy is not necessarily a silver bullet. New forms of energy production will bring with them their own problems. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the alarming use of a particularly scary gas in wind energy production. Anywhere you have complex electrical equipment, you have an elevated risk of short circuits and fires. To mitigate the risk, the electrical industry uses non-flammable gases to insulate medium and high voltage installations. The most effective and potent of these gases is sulfur hexafluoride, or SF6. SF6 is colorless, odorless, non-flammable, and cheap to produce. It seems like the perfect choice for insulating expensive machinery. The electrical industry seems to agree, as it's used in everything from local substations to much larger power stations to wind turbines. The only problem is, it's a little too good at its job. When it leaks into the atmosphere, this synthetic gas can cause some real problems. Due to its insulating properties, SF6 is 23 and a half thousand times more potent than CO2, meaning it has the highest global warming potential of any substance known to man. Just one kilogram of SF6 entering the atmosphere has the same impact as taking 24 round-trip flights from New York to London. What's worse, it sticks around in the atmosphere for up to a thousand years. So even if there was never another leak, the gas that's already escaped will be causing problems for generations. In 2017, SF6 leaks in the EU alone were the equivalent of adding 1.3 million cars to the road for a year. That's pretty alarming. But if sulfur hexafluoride is so bad, why are we still using it? Part of the problem comes from the fact that we're replacing fossil fuel energy with green energy fairly quickly. This in itself is a good thing, but with many new wind turbines, which require many new electrical connections, switches, and circuit breakers, the need for effective, proven insulation has never been higher. SF6 has a stellar track record for preventing electrical accidents and fires, so naturally the industry continues to use it. One of the biggest uses for the gas has been in large offshore wind turbines, which demand highly reliable insulation due to the difficulty of quickly fixing problems. To make things worse, the use of SF6 seems to be increasing. According to one study, in the UK alone there are over 1 million kilograms of sulfur hexafluoride in use, and that number is increasing by 30 to 40 tons every year. This all sounds pretty bad, but we have to put things in perspective. While SF6 is an incredibly potent warming agent, leaks of the gas aren't currently any kind of epidemic. All of the SF6 leaked in the UK in 2017 only accounted for one-tenth of one percent of Great Britain's greenhouse gas emissions. More importantly, the electrical industry knows the gas is a problem. Unlike fossil fuel corporations, those working in green energy have been glad to work with scientists to find suitable alternatives to SF6. And the results so far look promising. The UK's national grid has been working to find a solution since 2010, and in 2016, 3M Company installed an alternative insulator at a gas line in southeast England. This alternative has 98% less warming impact than SF6. Even more impressively, Siemens has installed a new batch of wind turbines off the east coast of England that will be completely SF6 free. The company released a statement saying, As a result, not only the generation of power, but also its transmission and distribution are climate neutral. The same study that found the use of SF6 was increasing also determined that the electrical industry is well on its way to solving the problem, which is a breath of fresh air considering the past activity of energy groups. And that's something we need to keep in mind going forward. Transitioning to 100% green energy is absolutely essential, but we need to stay vigilant and make sure the industry doesn't cut corners or try to save a buck by implementing unsafe technology. We need to make sure that the age of corporations swindling and lying to the people has come to an end. Accountability only works if normal people are willing to pressure companies to do what's right, even if what's right will affect their bottom line. This SF6 problem has given us a good idea of what we can expect from the electrical industry. Yes, SF6 is a bad solution, and thanks to a public push for a greener alternative, the industry has been transparent in their use of the gas and in their work to find a suitable replacement. Let's make sure it stays that way. Climate change is the greatest threat our species has ever faced, and we know who's to blame. If you'd like to learn more about how the fossil fuel industry wrecked our environment in the name of profit, and what kind of fallout we can expect because of it, I highly recommend you check out Naomi Klein's This Changes Everything, completely free on Audible. Listening makes us smarter, more connected people. 
It makes us better partners, friends, and leaders. And there's no better place to start listening than Audible. Audible members now get more than ever before. Members get to pick three free titles every month. One audiobook plus two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. And if for whatever reason you don't like the audiobook you picked, you can exchange it free of charge, no questions asked. And your audiobooks are yours forever, even if you cancel. Start listening with a 30-day trial, and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. To start listening today, visit audible.com slash second thought or text second thought to 500 500.